Name Confused by Etienne Nightingale. Chapter 70 Sherlock's New Roommates. Anthea read the report twice more before she cocked her head to the side, tapping a finger on her desk, the same one she shared with her boss's other assistant. Green eyes focused on her at the sign of her nervousness. Sherlock's report. The man hazarded a guess, and she nodded. Yes, came her reluctant answer. The man sighed and pushed back on his chair. Okay, now I'm intrigued. If he has you all bothered. He's found himself a roommate again. The wizard stilled. A roommate? He repeated. Anthea nodded. A desperate student in need of cheap accommodation, or perhaps another charity case. He does love them, especially when they have something to hide, or perhaps a criminal. He probably learned his lesson since last time he did that, the nameless woman remarked. The green eyed man chuckled. You would think so. Personally, I think he just deleted the whole thing. Sherlock, much like his older sibling, doesn't like to be reminded of his shortcomings. No, I would believe no one likes that. Anthea said. So, the roommate? He's a doctor. The wizard blinked. Not a psychiatrist, is he? You know how the last one ended up. The paperwork for that was a nightmare. His brother had been a lawyer. No, the woman said. In fact, I think he'll be rather familiar with the name, and Mycroft might actually approve of him. The man's interest was piqued, and he requested the file. He stared as the name John Hamish Watson appeared on the very first page next to the picture of a very familiar army doctor. The wizard then smiled. Things were bound to get more interesting.